What's up, sixth grade students? Welcome to another Mr. J Plays. This week, I'm going to be playing Legends of Learning Metric Pool, just like you did in class. All right, after it loads, we'll get started. All right, here we go. Let's start the game. All right, well, I don't know how well this game does or does not play, so I'm going to start with the question. Identify the most reasonable unit to measure the volume of a saucepan. If the answer is no, enter zero. If the answer is one, or is yes, enter one. All right, milliliters are the really teeny tiny ones, so no, I don't think that's a good idea. And liters, I do think, is a good idea. All right, did I get it right? I got it right, yeah. So I get one more move. So there's where I need to get the ball. All right. So I'm going to click on it and drag, and I can kind of aim. Oh, look at that. I can kind of see where it's going to go. Hmm. All right. So this is going to be kind of boring because I'm going to be playing with this a lot, trying to figure out where I want this to go. Right. Right there. Oh, that one's close. All right. Can I aim from the yellow one I wonder if I can aim or do I have to hit the yellow one all right I have to hit the yellow one all right so let's aim this let's see if I can do this while hitting the yellow one all right let's try that that did not work okay so I that was move one of four over here in the corner all right I do really want to try to get that yellow one in all right I'm going to try again to get that yellow one in and then if I can get the yellow one in I'm going to be very happy. All right, let's try to angle it like that. And hit it again. Yeah, yeah. All right, so my second move, I got the yellow one again. Good. I'm not sure what that does, but here we go. Let's see if I can get this one in now. All right, I don't want to hit it too hard to bounce away from it. And got it. Level one done. All right, let's go. Let's go. Great job. I got a great job. Yeah. All right, 550 points. A coffee shop has six coffee pots. Each coffee pot has two liters of coffee. What is the total amount of coffee in liters of the coffee pots? All right, so two liters in each pot. There are six. Six times two, 12. I got it correct. Yay. All right, I'm going to do a question to get another move because I really want to try to get as many points as possible. Jennifer buys a bag of potatoes and a gallon of milk. The weight of each item is shown on the scales below. How much greater is the weight of the bag of potatoes than the gallon of milk? All right, so the potatoes are 160 ounces. The milk is 138 ounces. So let's go 38, 48, 58, that's 20. 59, 60, that's 22. Yes, I just used my fingers to do math. That's okay, I count on my hands. I'm correct, let's get another, let's go, let's go, another. Whoa, what's that thing? What's that red thing? Spinny. So do I want to get it in that hole or the... All right, so maybe I can get the yellow, this one in that space, and then I got to go with the other one in the other space. All right, let's give it a try. Let's see what I can do here. I do not want to get trapped in that corner. All right, let's do that. No, don't get trapped in the corner. I don't know what that does. Am I done? Oh, shot it to the next one. All right, all right. Am I going to get a hole in one? No. Do I want to end the level or do I want to try to get that yellow one? I think I want to get that yellow one. I'm not sure how to get that yellow one, though. I'm not sure how to get that yellow one. Let's see if I go that way. Maybe it'll get stuck. What if I go this way? All right, I'm not quite sure. Hi, Mr. Snyder. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I'm recording a video game, and it's kind of fun. You want to try? Uh, okay. Oh, I made it. All right. Well, have a seat. I'm going to let you jump in. You can either start the game by playing start the level, or you can answer another question to get an extra turn at the level. I'm going to start the level. Oh, Mr. Snyder thinks he's got this. What do I you do? Use the mouse, and you're going to drag the silver ball and try to get it into the hole. So think of it like pool or billiards and pinball kind of all together. 
So I drag it this way? Drag it any way you want. And let it go? You can... I'm going to go right here. Oh, look at that. How do I, do I, are there flippers that I need to flip? There are no flippers. Wow. Break the glass. There you go. I know, right? Break that. Your goal is there's a hole oh, I think I broke up it. here somewhere that you need to get to. Oh, no. It's slowing down. Well, that means you get another turn. I don't know. My potential energy is still there, but, you know, the kinetic energy has died. Did I do that right? You did do that right. There we go. Now, well, if you pull away turn. from it, like right now, some, there you oh, go. Oh, I see. Okay, let's do. Watch this. Here we go. That's where I want it. Oh, it didn't hit the hole. <laughs> I, did, I thought it was going to hit. Oh, no, that was a horrible turn. Take the L, Mr. Snyder. Oh, you're not done yet. You got two more oh, tries. Two more tries? Two more tries. That's perfect because I'm going to hit this gap up here. Boom. Dang it. <laughs> that beach ball. <laughs> Get out of my way. Let's try this again. I'm going to hit the beach ball again. Is that where the beach ball is? Oh, is that what I'm trying to get in there? You're trying to get in there, yeah. Oh, okay. So you got no. one more move. Oh. No more moves. Oh, got to do science. So they're kind of punishing you with science. I don't you have know, an extra I quarter? these kids? Do you have an extra quarter? Do I have an extra quarter? There Put you go. it in the arcade slot. Dog on it. All right, thanks for playing, Mr. Snyder. All right, we'll see you, Mr. J. Go Browns. Go Browns. All right, here we go. Let's try again. I'm going to answer a question so I can have an extra turn because that looks really hard to do. Which of the which item would most likely have a mass of about nine kilograms? Ooh, kilograms are pretty big. Let's try a dresser. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, scroll down. Submit. There was a down arrow. I was incorrect. It was a vacuum. Man, take away my science teaching license. All right, here we go. Let's see. Now the good thing was I got to watch him go first. So I have an idea of what I want to do or don't want to do. Now I'm going to watch it bounce off of these and see where it goes. Let's do that one. It's not exactly what I thought it would do, but it's still going. So where's it going to end? Where's it going to end? Where's it going to end? All right. That's not a, not a bad spot. Whoa. It's stuck in the one spot. It's still going. It's still going. And going and going and going and going. Oh, and I made it through. Beach ball's up there, out of my way. Dude. Oh, if I would have got a hole in one, I could have totally, totally gave Mr. Snyder a hard time. All right, let's give this a try. Let's go. I'm going to go and try to angle it. Can I get it to angle into that spot? Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Two times. Two times. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Level three done. Great job. Even though I got the science question wrong. The total mass of six blocks is 12 kilograms. Each block has the same mass. What is the mass in kilograms of each block? Edit your answer in the box. All right. Six blocks, 12 kilograms. So that would be two kilograms each. 12 divided by six should be two. And let's go. That's right. I want another life. What is the most reasonable measure for the mass of a piece of candy corn? I'm going to go with grams. 20 grams would be about 20 paper clips because each paper clip's about a gram. 20 paper clips or 200 pa 20. No. Two. Nah, candy corn's bigger than that. It's not two pieces of two paper clips, is it? Man, see, this is why in science, you measure things for real and you don't just guess. See, look at that. I took that wrong answer and made it sound smart. Don't guess in science. Use real science equipment. All right, here we go. Let's do this one. Mm, I'm just going to hit them. Because every time I follow the path of this thing, it doesn't always go. So I'm just going to hit them. And then I hit the... Whoa, it stopped. That's not what I expected. All right, go yellow, go yellow, go. All right, let's get this one out of here. 
Let's try to hit this one in the corner and then try to go past it. There we go. Oh, 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 another hole in two. Hole in. It bounced the wrong way. All right. I, too bad I can't scroll the screen to see the other one. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one in. See if I get any bonus points or whatever. All right. Level four done. Great job. Identify the most reasonable unit to measure the mass of a paperclip. It's a gram. If the answer is no, zero, yes, one. One for gram, zero for kilograms. I'm correct. All right, let's do another question. I got to redeem myself. Mrs. Gomez put a box of 20 rulers on a desk. Each ruler had a mass of 20 grams. What is the total mass of the box of rulers on the desk? 20 rulers. Each ruler has 20 grams. So 20 times 20, it's 400 grams. 400 grams, correct. All right, so I got an extra move for this level. Uh, I shouldn't have been playing with a cup of water in the camera. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Way to pay attention. Let's see. We're gonna go there. Oh, whoo, I was looking for that boost. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did I just beat the level? Hole in one. Didn't even know I did it. Great job. Let's move on. Uh, what's the most me reasonable measure for the floor lamp? Seriously, guys, you should never guess measurements. You should get out a meter stick, a tape measure, and make measurements for real. Oh, this is measuring mass. So you would need a balance. Uh, floor lamp would be 50 kilograms, I'm going to guess. I'm incorrect. It would be five kilograms. Man, I guess I'm just imagining big, heavy floor lamps. All right, no extra. Wait. Oh, I got it. What's going on? Oh, I got to answer another one. I get it right. I don't find the most reasonable unit to measure the mass of a bicycle. It would not be gram zero, but it would be kilograms. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's get a bonus one. Identify the most reasonable unit to measure the volume of a box of rice. Uh, it would not be milliliters. It would probably be liters. I'm right. Okay, got an extra move. Okay, so this looks like it's a straight shot, but there's a lot of those yellow ones in front of me. I'm going to make it a straight shot. Let's just blast it with all the power I got. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Keep hitting. Keep going. Keep moving. That was not as exciting as I hoped. So let's just blast another one. Let's do the, hit this on the edge so it goes and maybe I can have it hit the other ones. Can I get it to hit the other ones? No. Let's go that way. Go that way. All right, so that's the bell. So this week, you got to see me play the same game you did. You saw a guest player this week, Mr. Snyder. You also saw me get some science wrong. And the moral of today's lesson is to make sure you measure for real and not just guess. All right, I'll see you guys next time on Mr. J Plays. Bye. <laughs> 20 rulers. Each ruler has 20 grams, so 20 times 20. Holy moly, that's hard. Oh, we know what that is, right? Two times, two times zero is a two, or zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's 400 grams.